What's up, my stability village? Your boy, back on my shirt. Twice the nice that you were used to. Blim, shim, shim, blam. And we are here today, and we are talking comic book news. So this is probably going to go under my comic book. Uh, yeah, this is going to go under my uh, comic book corner playlist. So I will link that in the description down below if you want to know what I think about comic books, because I find myself pretty knowledgeable. Yeah. Oh, not just comic book, comic book movies and all of that stuff in general and, and da 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 so uh, according to the uh, Hollywood Reporter Henry Cavill is out as Superman? huh? I, I'm, I'm looking at it right now, I'm probably gonna bring it up uh, yeah, I'm looking at it wait, what? I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it because look uh because look uh this don't make no sense to me. Henry Cavill for better or for worse uh, he's not a bad Superman. I don't even like Superman, but I can tolerate I can I can to I can tolerate uh I can tolerate, you know, I can tolerate Henry Cavill as Superman. I mean, undoubtedly, I would write him differently, but uh, on screen, when I'm watching him, I don't hate Superman. Except for Batman v Superman, but that was just due to poor writing in general. Everybody was written poorly in there. They tried to do the best with what they had. I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't enjoy the movie. Even though Batman was the best part, but I, Superman, it was just poor writing. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't get this move. Like, DC should be working much harder to keep Henry Cavill in. They should not be letting news like this leak. Because, look, Superman was supposed to be the center of this whole cinematic universe. And already there was that whole thing with Ben Affleck wanting to leave as well. So it's just like, but gents, guys, what's going on here? DC, y'all need some help? Y'all need a hug? Y'all, now DC, if this is, this is what is happening, I do have a couple of my ideas to save your cinematic, a, a couple, just, hey, 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 save, save the universe, hey, I'm just saying, black people have had a history of dealing with some broken things pretty well. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy about this news. I want DC to make good movies. I want DC to have a solid universe because then Marvel will get lazy and then people will get tired of the superhero genre if these movies aren't good. And as a guy who's trying to get into the superhero genre. And if you're looking for proof of that, I've also got a link to the teaser that I just released down below as well. Let me know what you think. But anyway, enough self-promotion. Back to the topic at hand. Uh, yeah, I was just saying, like, I don't want the comic book industry, the superhero comic book industry to, like, you know, dwindle or die or anything like that. And the only way it's going to live is via competition. You know what I'm saying? So, DC, bruh, like, I'm just saying, a couple of ideas, hire some fans. Hire some actual fans. Like, you don't even have to really hire them. Just give them, like, a writing credit. Let them suggest a story. Or let them write, like, a fictional story where they combine some stories together. You know what I'm saying? And then have them submit that. And then have your people turn that into a script. And then get a director who is a fan. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. This is, this is chaos. I don't even know, like... I hope it's not true. I hope Henry Cavill doesn't leave. Yes, I said it. I hope he don't leave. But, yeah, because, I mean, he's, if if he's gone, this thing falls apart. Wonder Woman's going to hold it for how long? Wonder Woman is like Atlas now. She's holding that entire universe just on her shoulders. She's going to need some help. 
and Batman ain't doing it. I love I loved Ben Affleck's portrayal. I think he's the second greatest Batman on screen. Shouts out to Christian Bale. Nobody beats Bale for me yet. But yeah, this I don't want the universe to fall apart. And DC's just been having a bad track record recently. Uh, you know, and uh, it's doable. All right, it's doable. You see what I'm saying? There's Guardians of the Galaxy. We didn't know none of those characters yet. They managed to get cramming just enough story and just enough heart for us to give a damn about people we've never met before. Well, I've met them before. I used to read the comic books. I told you, huge nerd. I didn't even know about the Guardians of the Galaxy before the Guardians of the Galaxy that you see on screen. Yes, there was a before the Guardians of the Galaxy that you see on screen. They were weird. But anyway, uh, back to my point. My point is, is that look what dc was trying to do it was doable they just didn't get the good enough writers and and unfortunately director to do it like nothing against snyder but i think snyder needs a pocket you know snyder with that cgi he go everywhere i mean 300 is a great example of how when snyder's got one particular story to tell he can tell it you know with all of the graphic what what's and what what's going on he can tell it well so yeah they needed to just narrow that corner because 300 was like what it was a limited comic issue series by frank miller based on the battle of what was it thermopylae or whatever yeah but i'm just saying it was it was small batman's got like 70 plus years of continuity 75 plus years of continuity so Zack Snyder could just be like, I want to take this, I want to take this, let's take some of that, let's take some of that, let's take that. And then Superman also 75 years. So it's like, let's put this, let's put this. And it's like, oh, do, 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 CGI mumbo jumbo. I mean, let, I mean, Man of Steel was a pretty, it was an okay movie, okay? Some say it's the best DC movie, all right? It was a good movie. It gave Henry Cavill, like, yeah, it gave Henry Cavill, like, you know, Henry Cavill did well as Superman there. And they gave Superman like an arc and a story and everything. I still wouldn't have had him kill Zod. Because it's like, nah, there's, he had so many other options. And he's been enough with his powers to, to be able to think of those options. I would, not have, I would not have had him kill Zod. He literally could have just blocked Zod's eyes. I'm sure he's strong enough. Like he was strong enough to you know, resist a laser blast. Or super speed or whatever. Anyway. I'm, I'm ranting now about the movie, the ending in particular, but the movie itself, the movie itself, uh, despite the CGI fight at the end, which also made me mad, but the movie itself, for most part, for the first two acts was really good. The movie itself for the first two acts was really, really good. So, um, yeah, I think he's got potential to save Superman. I think he's got potential to make Superman more of a mainstay than Superman has been because, let's face it, Superman has been now for the older crowd. It's not for the younger crowd anymore because us young, us young cats, <laughs> us young cats, we just, you know, we're sick of Superman not having a weakness. But, I mean, Henry Cavill did enough of a job to make Superman compelling to me, a guy who does not like Superman, so... They can do something with this. They can do something. I don't want DC's universe to fall apart because I'm a huge DC fan and I'd love for them to take some of their best stories to the cinema to the cinema screen. So, you know, here's hoping. Here is hoping with everything in my body that the DC universe don't fall apart. I do think they need a reboot. I do think that they need a reboot. I've said this time and time again when I was on the media channel. Uh, the media table, the media channel, the media table, when I was TMNT, the media table, we talked about this and we both came to the consensus of a reboot because it's built on a flimsy deck of cards, but it's not that hard to do. Time travel? Sure. I mean, and yeah, you can make one confusing movie just saying that this reboots everything and then, yeah, you can take it from there. But yeah, that's just my old two cents on the situation. I really hope he doesn't leave. And I really hope DC can sort this out. Because they've got some of the premier comic book stories and comic book characters. And again, I'm saying they can save, they can save DC. We can bet money. This crew over here, this crew over here, they can save DC. We can bet money right now. We can bet money. I can bet money that these guys, if done right, will save DC. 
they will save DC. Like, and I mean save DC. Really save them. But anyway, yeah. That's my whole two cents on the thing. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Yeah, talk to me, guys. I want to hear from you. Talk to me. Talk to your boy. Much to build us have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Let's talk about it, baby. And if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you did not, that is your business. And I'll see you on another video because my segment's got to be uh, out. Peace.